Greetings, Earthman from EarthmanSoil.com. God bless you. And I hope this video helps you out. This is a follow-up on inoculating and charging my biochar. And um, it's been a few days. And uh, as you can see, I have a lot of action going on there. Uh, what I did is I put uh, our Grovana on there and um, uh, let that, I covered it up with a, a sheet and uh, I did both the bins. And as you can see, uh, I have a lot of mycocellants, what I'm gonna do there and bacteria, I'm gonna mix that in really good. And uh, every couple of days I'm gonna mix this up just so uh, it doesn't go, you know, stagnant. I don't want any anaerobic bacteria developing. I did put some lactic bacteria in there and photosynthetic bacteria. And in other words, I put some effective microbes in there to prevent that from happening. And also they play a part in inoculating the biochar. So as you can see, um, as I stated before, you can't just use plain biochar. You gotta charge it. And um, at the very least with a little moisture and some sort of uh, nutrients. But um, I always advise people to inoculate your biochar too. That way, uh, all those little tiny pieces of biochar with the thousands of little tiny holes that are inside there are little homes and apartments and whatever for the bacteria. And they are there for your plant's um, uh, survival, okay? They will help your plant do well. And, um, okay, that's the follow-up. May God bless you. Uh, if you like this video, push like. If you're not a subscriber... You know, you should subscribe, but whatever. That's up to you. Um, but there's a lot of good content coming. And uh, that's pretty much it. God bless you. I don't, oh, this is Grovana that I inoculated with. And if you ever are interested in having living soil, go to earthmansoil.com. Check out what we got. And this is Grovana. It's the best product we have. I mean, it's the most complex one. I mean, we have all, all our products are awesome, but this one has it all. So may God bless you. Have a great day.